Hey guys, Andrew from Model Flight here and welcome back for another video. Today we're taking you through a very exciting release. It's a brand new release from Team Losey Racing. It's the 8X 2.0. Now, one of the neat differences with this car is it actually is a two-in-one combo kit. So the 8X and 8XE 2.0, all in the same kit box. You get all of the running gear uh, required or hardware required to build the vehicle in either an electric or a nitro configuration and just adding in your um, your servos, electronics and, and engine and pipe if it's nitro. But that's a really neat thing for the end user. You're getting a car that has a lot of added value. You've got parts for both versions. If you're like me and you run electric and nitro, then you get some spares for each of those configurations. So you get spare clutch, uh, spare engine mounts, spare fuel tank, spare pipe hanger for the nitro side. And for your EP side, you're gonna get a spare radio tray, you're gonna get a spare battery mount, a motor mount, and some other hardware. So pretty neat for those guys who are running two cars. Um, really neat for the guys who only have one. You're able to convert it uh, back and forth if you wanted to. Um, if you had a big race coming up or an event coming up where you could only run nitro or electric, um, if you had the, the running gear for it, you could convert the car over and race it. So fantastic idea by TLR and something they've done on their 8X uh, T, but really nice to see it carry over into the buggy platform. Um, before we take the lids off and have a bit of a look at all the goodies on this new vehicle, um, I will say the builds went fantastic. There is a ton of changes and improvement to these cars. Uh, it's almost like TLR have left no stone unturned when they've gone through the vehicle. Uh, they've made updates to uh, virtually everything that needed it. Um, some stuff that you didn't think needed it, they've updated and improved. Taken a lot of weight out of the vehicle, around about 100 grams lighter. Um, taken over 20 grams out of the drive line, which is huge for dropping rotational mass. Um, so this drive line feels super free. The car should accelerate really quickly. Um, but a really thorough job by the TLR team. This car has been raced in the US and Dakota Fend actually won the Raw National Championship. So not often that you get a, a new car release coincided with a massive race win, um, but we're lucky enough that, that TLR have managed to have some really good results over in the US with the vehicle. And now they've been released, they'll filter out to the consumers, everyone will get their hands on both cars, uh, get to use them, get to learn them. Um, but a really exciting platform with a lot of potential. So um, before we do take the body off, the body is probably the, the biggest thing you can notice straight away. Very different body styling shape. Now in our first batch of kits, for those of you who might be looking at purchasing one, there actually is two body shells included in the kit box. You get one that's uncut, the outsides are pre-cut, but there's no engine and tank hole for the electric version. And you actually get a pre-cut with the tank holes for the nitro. So for your money, you're getting two shells, which is nice. If you are running nitro, you can cut that second shell out to fit your nitro and have a spare. You obviously get your spare set of rims and you get your all your sway bars and, and it includes some option parts for tuning as well. But the body, much different, very sturdy. It's a lot wider at the front. It actually goes across the Ackerman and steering plate, so should minimize cracking there. Um, and the body itself is, is very well cut and very sturdy, so should make the bodies last longer and should perform really well as well. So let's take the, the tops off and have a bit of a look at each car's configuration. Okay, now that we have the body shells off, we can dive into the actual vehicle itself, um, highlight some of the differences between the two and some of the neat innovations that TLR have gone and added to these vehicles. So uh, before I start with the obvious, I might start with some improvements that I noticed uh, throughout the build as well as stuff that TLR have redesigned. So uh, the car itself uses square pivot blocks in the front and rear. So the A, B, C, D blocks take square pills, which gives you far more adjustment. You're able to move left, right, up and down and, and across ways, as opposed to the oval pills, which only move in one direction. So a ton more adjustment for roll center there. The rear pivot points have been changed also using a different gearbox. So it uses the truggy rear gearbox. Rear pivot point is much uh, narrower, arms are longer. Uh, the hub offset has changed. So overall the rear grip should be vastly increased. Uh, in the front end, the car has had some uh, changes made to the Ackerman plate the width of the steering posts, the Ackerman plate itself is redesigned. The arms have been redesigned to be a little bit more beefier with like a truss style system. The front shock tower is lower, uh, the front shock is shorter. So there is a ton of change in these vehicles, all for the better, so all for improvements, but really, really fantastic to see the effort TLR have put in to release a vehicle in both versions that has been so well thought through. We'll start with the EP. So complete redesign of the center chassis, as you can see, if you have an 8X, 
uh, electric right now, you'll notice the layout looks nothing like what you currently have. Um, so they've got a nice receiver box up front. This is a little bit smaller screw lid and it's actually one piece with the servo mount. So that all, all screws into the chassis together. Nice and neat for the wiring, uh, goes underneath this floating mount and up into the receiver box. Uh, ESC is up the front now, instead of being down the back, like on the previous car, and the motor's uh, still in a very similar spot, but using a, a different motor mount, using the Truggy style motor mount, which slides in and out. So no more clamping O-ring style mount, uh, which I think is really nice and a little bit easier for uh, removal and maintenance. On the battery side of things, the battery tray itself is molded into the side guard. Uh, the battery sits, I think it's about 10 millimeters lower on the chassis versus the previous vehicle. Um, it also gives you the option to run a two cell shorty. So this car will take a full four cell pack, just like the 8X did. So if you have those, don't sweat, you can still run them, but it does give you the option to run these shorties, uh, which lower the center of gravity, also lower the weight. And when you compare both the vehicles uh, ready to run, they're very, very similar in weight within about uh, 60 grams. So um, normally there's a far bigger disparity in weight between the e-buggy and the nitro. This time, very, very close in weight. So uh, I've got the setup with the Spectrum Smart 60 through 100 milliamp shorties. Um, they fit in really nice. Uh, using the Spectrum radio gear as well and a hobby wing system. So 6290 servo, SR315 receiver with my DX5 Pro. And that's the EP ready to go. Now, moving across to the Nitro. Again, a lot of this will look quite similar in the center. Almost all of it has been redesigned. So it's a new battery box, new servo mount, a uh, new center diff mount and servo mount as well. So uh, easier to get in and out of the center diff, four screws and that's out. Uh, the servo stays in the car when you pull the center diff out now. It doesn't come with that carbon plate that we used to run. Uh, they've made modifications to the rear radio box so that everything sits nice and flush. You even get a nice little blanking plate in the back there for the switch if you're not running a switch. Redesigned tank, again, all of the geometry stuff between the two cars is, is the same. So different bell cranks, shock towers, pills, etc. Car is much wider, you may notice that as well. So much wider vehicle um, and the balance is really, really nice on this. So uh, overall, two fantastic builds. Very excited to actually get these out on track. It's great to see the options you get out of the box. This is the same chassis left and right. So one's fitted with the EP stuff, one's fitted with the Nitro, and you get both of these options uh, in the kit box. Thanks for joining us again today, guys, for a pretty cool video taking you through uh, a look at the brand new TLR 8X 2.0 kits. Now, um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit us up on the YouTube channel. Uh, you can message us on Facebook. You can hit us on our contact us form on our website. If you have any questions about the builds, um, the running gear we used, all the running gear in both of these vehicles is stuff that we sell. So whether you go uh, electric and you use a Spectrum setup with a Hobbywing ESC and motor, uh, or you wanna go nitro, we have the OS engines, Spectrum servo, Spectrum receiver, dynamite receiver packs. So we got everything in stock to build these cars in either, either variation. Hopefully you racers get them in your hands, get them on track, get some great results. And uh, if you have any questions or wanna know anything further, please let us know. As always, like, subscribe, share this video if it's been helpful and you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.